That'll move us over to the Raiders at the Chiefs, and that is uh, another 12 p.m. game and another divisional game. So this is, you know, the line is Chiefs minus 10, which I just I don't understand how they how they keep being these massive favorites. They did cover against the Broncos last week. Uh, the total is 48 and a half, so it's not some huge total here. I think it's supposed to be cold. I mean, obviously, we will see on that because there's still a long time between now and Sunday. But you you look at these you look at these matchups here and know the Raiders have not been great, but they have started to figure some things out after they kind of had their their lull in the season. Raiders not great, but I think that they can compete enough uh, with this Kansas City defense to be able to to put some points on the board and and keep this within ten. I mean, obviously the Raiders have played the Chiefs pretty tough uh, most seasons, so I. Even with Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs seemingly have figured things out, all that, they're on a win streak, I get it. Uh, I'm going to take the plus 10. Like I'm going to take the Raiders here because I just don't trust this Chiefs team. Yep, we're, we're seeing, thing, seeing, well, seeing things the same way. What's been interesting about this Chiefs run, as the Chiefs have looked a lot better lately, is they've done it defensively. Their offense has struggled to look great, and their defense has been uh, very, very, very good. So that's that's an interesting tidbit that we haven't seen or, or normally gotten lately, and I, I think the Ravens, uh, the Raiders, Ravens, the the Raiders can score. I think they can find a way to get on the board, and and, and they can play. With, you're right; they play the Chiefs, Chiefs tough every year. They just do. Yeah, earlier this season, I believe the uh, the Chiefs caught them like during that that lull, right? And they they kind of beat yeah. them up pretty good. Well, but that, that was that was like the the second week after they lost their coach. Like they yeah. lost Gruden, and they all kind of rallied around and played well for a little bit. But that doesn't last. At some point in time, you got to kind of reevaluate things and see who you are. And, and and it took a little bit for them to kind of get out of that. Well, yeah, because they also had all the off field stuff that was that was a big time issue, big, big distractions. Now that the distractions are out of the way, you know they know who they got for the duration. I, I trust the Raiders to be able to at least keep this within the 10. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if they win the game, but but yeah, I, the biggest thing, I think they can keep it within 10 points. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.